In this tutorial, we'll see how to remove seams from photos to create seamlessly tiling textures. In other tutorials, we've seen this done by generating or synthesizing the entire image. But the point of this tutorial is on removing seams by just generating the image edges. Now, this cannot be done in all uh, types of textures, and uh, we'll see examples uh, where this will not work. And let's start by opening uh, a photo of a textile. In the 3D preview, I'll set the tiling multiplier to 2 so that we can better see the seams. You can see that at the image edges, we can clearly spot these uh, seams. Less so in the horizontal seam, but the vertical seam is quite uh, evident. Uh, we have tiling borders uh, enabled in the editor, which uh, also helps us uh, better see the, the seams. And we'll be using the tiling scene tool and uh, in the seed image drop menu, I'll select Use Current Map. We'll simply select uh, an area around the image edges, in this case the vertical edge. And this works because uh, when Pixplant is generating to an area, it will also generate to a small border around that area. Since we're using Pixplant with uh, horizontal and vertical tiling, and this can be set here in the tiling mode. These are the global settings and the tiling mode is set to horizontal and vertical. And because Pixplant will also generate around the selected area, this will wrap around to the other side and this is why it works. So I'll click generate and let's watch here in the 3D preview. The seam is going away and let's also do the same in the horizontal edge. Although it's not uh, really much visible there. So the seam is gone. The seams are gone. We still have this feature here, which can be noticeable, but we can get rid of it in the usual manner. We select it and click generate. And it's now gone. And let's now see another example, a uh, knitted textile. Okay, and here the seams are, are really quite visible. And um, so we'll also go to Tiling Scene tool and use Current Map. But now instead of generating next to the edges, uh, I'll control click with the left mouse button and offset so that the edges are now around the center of the image. We can now select the area with the edges, in this case your, the vertical edge, where the seam is. And it's now fixed and we, we can do the same to the horizontal seam. Okay, and uh, it's now been fixed. Let's now see uh, an example where this doesn't work. I'll be opening a rough linen textile. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not this one, it's this one. And we can see that there are some subtle lighting differences. This part at the bottom is uh, darker. And uh, let's see what happens when we try to generate to use the, the methods we've been using. Okay, so I'll select the bottom and let's see what happens. Okay, so this is quite a problem because you see due to the lighting differences, we have this, um, these patches that are clearly visible. And um, this seed image has, has other problems too. We have some unfocused areas in the edges, like this one, which are unusable. So this, this is quite hard. And the best solution in this case is to generate the entire area, as we've seen in other tutorials. Because of the unfocused areas, uh, our best bet is to out-select them and just use the area in the middle and another thing is that let's uh, equalize brightness a bit 
to avoid the lighting uh, differences. Let's now see how it goes. Okay, and it's much better. By the way, Pixplant uh, now has uh, a new model, the cloth model, which uh, is uh, better suited for this kind of textures. I'll undock the preview to full screen and We can preview this model. Okay, so let's now see another example. I'll get back to plane and do twice. This is an example of it's a brick wall, and it's also quite problematic to to make uh, seamlessly tile by just generating the edges because. It has these large repeated elements, the bricks. We cannot uh, simply come here and generate one of the edges because the bricks will not match when they wrap around. But let's see what happens. So I'll equalize brightness a bit. Let's generate this area. Well, you can see it's quite a mess. In cases like this, the, the only good solution is to check out Seed Wizard to see if the seed image is straightened and to see if the pattern is okay and then just generate. Okay, and uh, it's a much better solution. And let's see one more example for for surfaces without a pattern or with smaller repeated elements. We can just generate around the image edges, as we've seen in the beginning. So use current map, generate the bottom, and generate the vertical image edge. Okay, and so uh, we have a good tiling texture.